One of the great things about GarageBand is that you can take your audio and put it into iMovie to include it in your video projects. However, in iOS 13, some things have changed and we no longer have iMovie as one of our default locations to export from GarageBand. So in this video, I'm going to show you a workaround that can get you exporting from GarageBand to iMovie once again. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. So if that sounds like the sort of thing you're into, consider subscribing. Today we're going to be looking at something that's been frustrating a few folks and that's how to export or share from GarageBand to iMovie because a few things have changed in iOS 13. So let's jump in now and take a look. So what we need to do is tap on the select button here in the top right. I'm going to select which project I want, which is this one called Loops, and we're going to tap on that one. And then in the bottom left corner, we're going to tap on the Share button. So on this screen here, we'll tap on Song because we want to share the actual song file as opposed to the project. And we're going to select the highest resolution we can. So an uncompressed WAV file. The reason being, if you choose a compressed file, it's going to be compressed twice because it gets compressed again when you export it uh, from iMovie. So now we're going to tap on the Share button to go over to our Share Sheet. And we're going to land right here in the share sheet. Now, unlike in the past where we've had iMovie right here in the apps, we can share too. Or if it's not there, we can tap on more and actually add it in here. You'll find that it's nowhere to be found. Even if you've got iMovie installed, you won't have it here as one of your options. So let's hit done on that one. What we're going to need to do is do something else in between. And that is tap on this one here, the open in option. Whenever you can't do something, what you should do in iOS is hit open in and that will often and give you some more options here. So let's hit open in now. What it's going to do is export that song. So this is actually rendering out the WAV file and then exporting it out. And then it will give us another set of options once this export is complete. And here we have another familiar looking share sheet. The difference is we've got some additional apps, including iMovie, that we can add in here. So here's the apps across the top here. But this time, if we scroll across and we tap on more, we can get a full complete list of apps that we can send our audio to. So if we scroll all the way down, let's keep going until we find open in iMovie. Now we can just tap on that one. What I suggest you do though, is hit the edit button here in the top right corner, and then hit the green plus there. So that's gonna add it to your favorite. So if we we scroll back to the top here, then there you go. Open in iMovie is now in our favorite section. If we hit done on that one, and then we hit done again on that list of apps, what we should find is that iMovie is now the first option we have. So you still need to use open in, but then when you get to this second share sheet, you can just tap on that open in iMovie. And if everything has worked correctly, and now you can see we can choose to either create a new movie or edit or add it to an existing movie. So we want to create a new movie. We're going to tap on create new movie and boom, there it goes, throws our audio in there. And now if we hit play on this one, There is our audio ready to go. Now we can just go in and add our video and make our song, do whatever we want to do with it, but we can use our audio in here this way. You can also save it to your files from GarageBand and then import it separately using the files option here in the media. And if you want to learn more about using iMovie to edit your movies, including incorporating sound, sound effects, and music, then check out my video linked up the top and down in the description as well. Now there's just one tip that I have for you here. Sometimes you're going to get an error here where it won't actually pop up. And that's often when you're already running iMovie. If you get that error, just come into iMovie, flick it away to close it down, and then go back to GarageBand and try again. So if we do that, we tap on open in iMovie, it'll open up GarageBand, and then it'll bring up this option. So if you don't get that option popping up and you get an error instead, there is a little bit of a glitch in there, at least in the current version, 13.1.2 of iOS, where sometimes it won't pop up. If that's the case, simply close down iMovie, go back to GarageBand, and tap it again and it should work out well for you. So there you go, sharing from GarageBand to iMovie, alive and well in iOS 13. If you'd like to check out some more videos, there are two linked right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.